like it was like the best mix of like like a DC sound, but with like awesome dance parts and like kind of like New York hardcore like breakdowns. Beyond was pulling from you know definitely hardcore, but also metal and like reggae. And also these fucking guys listen to metal. <laughs> there's like some sick like metal riffs. There's a double kick on songs. Uh, there's a thing called a pick harmonic, which is like a. Like it kind of makes the guitar go, it squeals. And Tom was a real master of that. But it wasn't like metal that had kind of infiltrated the hardcore scene that I didn't like. Positive lyrics and the way the singer was screaming, it was kind of like minor thread like Ian, but just like amped up, like even like more pissed and more angry. More minor thread than it was like anthrax. I got why they were so excited about it. It was just different in a way that you weren't hearing at the time, you know, with the cowbell in there. I mean, we had that cowbell that he would, like, rock out on. Cowbell. Well, we're leaving the cowbell off on this one. <laughs> all the, um, like, the cowbell syncopation. Right. Better things to do. Cowbell in hardcore. That was just natural for me. You know, that's just kind of what I heard at the end of those some, some of those songs. From top to bottom, like every song is solid, like every song has a vibe. Vitality, just the way it kicks in. If you're going to school in hardcore, and usually hardcore school only lasts for like a year or two years, one of the first classes you'll take is make a song with a slow part, fast part, slow part, fast part, and, and I, you can judge a band by how well they handle that exercise. And Vitality was super simple, it immediately hooked you.